Hi you two, I hope you're all well and welcome to another topic lesson. Last week you focused mainly on your geography skills and a little bit of art. So this week we're going to focus on a new skill and we're going to be focusing on our design and technology skills. Now to be able to, to produce a really good piece of design and technology work, it usually takes about a week because you are going to be learning lots of new skills to enable you to make a really good 3D beach. So like I said, we're going to be focusing on our design and technology skills. Now, before we start making anything at all, we have to plan. And we're going to plan today by having a think about beaches. So when you think of a beach, what do you think of? What can you see? What do you do? I want you to turn to the adult that you're working with and have a discussion with them about what you see and what you usually do when you are at a beach. I'd like you to write them down on a piece of paper and then we're going to share them together. I'm also going to write my list and we'll see if we have any that are the same. So pause this video now and have that discussion with your adult. Okay, so well done. So hopefully you've had that discussion and you've thought of lots and lots of things that you see and you do at the beach. I'm going to share my list with you and you might find that some of the things are the same and you might also find that you've thought of some extra ones which is fantastic. So the things that I've thought about when I think of a beach, I think of the sea, I think of the sand, palm trees, lighthouses, sand castles, beach huts, shells and rock pools. If you've thought of any more, please leave me a comment on this video and let me know what else you thought of. So today then, like I said, we're going to start our design and technology lesson and I'm going to be teaching you a skill. Now, I want us to make a beach based on these things that we think about when we think of the beach. So I would like to include all of these elements in our 3D beach. So, the sea, I don't want us to just paint the floor of our cereal box blue or just colour it in blue. I wanted something really imaginative that we could do. So I thought of an idea. So today we're going to be focusing on the sea. So carry on watching this video to find out how you're going to recreate the sea in an empty cereal box. And that will be the first part of your beach complete. So you are going to need, to begin with, a cereal box and some scissors. So what you need to do, this front panel of your cereal box here needs to be cut out. So you may need an adult to help you with this. So if you want to pause this video and ask an adult to help you cut around the edge here. If you watch me, I'll show you what I um, mean. So I'm going to cut, if you can see, along this line here so that I leave this small part in the back piece and this small part, which so is just this front bit that needs to come out. So if you want to have a go while I carry on cutting mine too, hopefully you can see on the video where I'm cutting. So again, be really slow with your cutting skills to make sure it's nice and straight. The more time you take on this, the better it is going to look. So as you can see, I've done one cut there, but that small panel is still in. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. So that bottom piece needs to be kept in. So I'm just going to cut. There's a line already there for you that you can just follow. But like I say, you might need an adult to help you with this because usually you'd have Miss Boylan and I helping you in class with this. So you've got this panel here that's been left. So you should end up almost like a book that opens. And then you just need to cut this last part up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see in the video. It is a little bit fiddly. Just do the best that you can. There we are. So I've cut my top panel off and I end up with something that looks like this. I'm just going to cut this bottom bit off because it's a little bit ripped and just this little side bit here. So a little side tab, I'm just going to snip off. And this bottom bit here, like I say, it's a little bit ripped so as you can see the lines there. So I'm just going to follow that line. So 
then you should end up with something that looks like this. And this is going to form your box for your 3D beach. So, like I said, we're going to make the sea. And to make the sea, you're going to need a plastic bag, something you might put your sandwiches in when you go for a picnic. And you're also going to need some shower gel. Now, I managed to find some blue shower gel in my cupboard. If you haven't got blue, it's absolutely fine. Just use whatever colour you've got. We can be innovative and we'll have to use our imagination and pretend that it's blue. You will also need some sellotape so that we can seal it so that the shower gel doesn't seep out. Because even though this has got a little sealy bit at the end, the shower gel still might be able to get out of it. So, move your box to one side so we don't get shower gel on it. You need to open up your bag and we're going to pour in some shower gel to about a quarter. Okay? So remember a quarter, if you look at this bag, needs to be four equal parts, wouldn't it? One, two, three, four, and we're going to do one of those equal parts for one quarter. I'm going to open up my shower gel. And I'm going to pour it in. You might need some help to do this. This is not a full bottle, so it might take me a while to come out. Hopefully you can see the blue shower gel coming out. And like I said, I'm going to do about a quarter. So if you would like to pour your shower gel in while I'm pouring mine in, please make sure you have asked an adult before you start taking their shower gel and pouring it into a plastic bag. Please make sure you have asked if you can use it. Okay, so I'm now going to lift my bag up. As you can see there, it's probably slightly less than a quarter in mine, but like I said, it wasn't a full bottle. So then when you lie down flat, you can move it and the C moves in it. Okay, so you need to get your box back hopefully you can see in there, and you're going to place the C, so your sandwich bag with shower gel in, right at the top edge, if I lift this up hopefully you'll be able to see, can you see I've put it right at the top there, and what you're going to do, this bag here, that's got nothing on it, you're going to fold it over, so that it's sealed, so fold it over once, as you can see, then you're going to get your tape or masking tape or whatever material you've got. Glue would also work, glue your bag down. I'm going to get my tape and I'm going to put tape along that edge there. And now you've got, if you feel it, you've got the C that moves. So that's our creative way today of creating our C. Now, I haven't got children at the moment, but lots of you at home might have bits of Lego or Playmobil or just tiny little figures hanging around. If you've got any fish or crabs or anything that you might find under the sea, a little tip that you can also do is when you pour your shower gel in, before you seal your bag, you can put in some of those tiny little Lego fish or crabs or whatever you've got. And they will actually, when you press down on them, they will move in the sea so you might want to have a go at that so that is part one of our design and technology lesson today now come back tomorrow to find out what part two will be now there is a second part to this lesson so but that's going to be in a separate video so i hope you've enjoyed your design and technology lesson this morning and like i say Come back tomorrow to find out what part two of your beach is going to be. Okay, bye.